This is Personal Injury Court. Good day, everyone. This is the matter of Bates versus Miller and the mashed egg. Mr. Bates, from the documents you filed with this court, it's my understanding that you are suing Miss Miller and her restaurant for injuries you sustained when you made a delivery to her restaurant. You're asking this court to award you $25,000 for past medicals, $25,000 for future medicals, $25,000 for lost wages, $75,000 for pain and suffering for a total award of $150,000. Is that correct? Yes, it is, Your Honor. And Ms. Miller, your position from the documents that you filed with this court is that Mr. Bates is responsible for his own injuries. Had he acted responsibly, he would not be here today. Yes, Your Honor. Then let's get into the legal sauce. Now, Mr. Bates, you're a delivery guy, right? Yes, Your Honor. Tell me about your delivery business. Well, I'm an independent delivery driver. I've been doing this about 10 years now. I own my own truck and business. There's a picture of my truck right there, if you can okay. see it. Well, I've been delivering uh, to the mashed egg now for almost as long as I had the business, about 10 years, Your Honor. Ms. Miller, tell me about the mashed egg. Well, the mashed egg is a breakfast joint. We specialize in egg dishes. We have, I think, 55 right now on the menu. We have... Uh, How long uh, have you been operating this business? My husband and I started this business 10 years ago. He always loved to cook, and I've been cooking since I was five years old when my mama taught me. Um, when, when she showed me how to crack an egg, I was fascinated. And so I've been a fan of eggs ever since. So how did this happen? Uh, on the night in question, I pull up as usual, and I notice there's no one there. As I'm going into the cooler with the eggs, the refrigerator, I slip on some cardboard right on the inside of the door. Ooh. Now, as I slip... I do this twist and I hear this just gut-wrenching snap. And as I hear that snap, I just start falling because I can't hold myself up anymore. So as I'm falling back, I hit the ground on my back, my head pops off on the concrete and it just knocks me out like a cartoon character. I'm seeing stars everywhere. And right as that happens, the lights go out because they're set on a timer. So then what did you do? Well, I fought myself to figure out where I was and I finally found the door. I crawl over to it and I start grabbing racks and I just start pulling myself up and trying to hold myself up on my good leg as best I can when I reach out for the handle and shake it and it doesn't open. So you were locked in this refrigerator? For five hours, Your Honor. Five hours I was in there. That is some folks' worst nightmare. No idea, To be idea, locked Your in Honor. a refrigerator. It took its toll on me. Well, you've submitted to this court medical bills just from the past of $25,000. What were your injuries? Well, I have a frostbite. I got a little on the tip of my, both my ears, as you can see, on my face, on the tip of my nose. I broke my ankle. I got nerve damage in my fourth and fifth fingers. I got a concussion. Miss Miller, when is the first time you heard of this incident? Uh, I was getting ready to come into the restaurant and I got the phone call about 5 a.m. But he's not supposed to be in the refrigerator by himself. We have a long-standing policy, which he is well aware of. It's a buddy system. He's used it many times. Your Honor, the buddy system... Did you know that you weren't supposed to be in there by yourself? Your Honor, yes. I don't have a choice yes. to be in there by myself because the buddy wasn't there. I'm a delivery driver. I have 42 routes. I can't stop and wait for someone to show up or not. This is not my fault. It is your fault. You're the business owner. You can crack an egg, but you can't run a business. Miss Miller, explain the buddy system for me. The buddy system is someone going in the refrigerator alone has to have someone A, stand by the door or be in the refrigerator with them. That's a long-standing policy. You've even used it. Yes, it's I've a used buddy it because system. they were there. Talk to me. You can't say it's a long-standing policy. Talk to me. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'm sorry. So if Mr. Bates had followed the buddy system as you all had asked him to do, yes. he would not have been locked in your cooler. Correct. And that's why you think this is not your fault. Exactly. Why couldn't you wait for the buddy system? Your Honor, I had a plenty of... Like I said, this is my busiest night. It was a Thursday night. I have 42 deliveries. I don't have the luxury to wait. I, that's basically saying not just me to wait on her, but all of my clients to wait on me. But this couldn't have been the first time that you had a delay in 10 years of deliveries, right? It was a handful of times, but this is the first time I've dealt with the handle. Because this isn't a question of the buddy system. This is a question of the handle locking because it's not supposed to lock. So why wasn't the handle working, Miss Miller? 
I take care of the maintenance and we regularly check that refrigerator. Cause Not good enough. Because it's a critical part of my business. In fact, I brought a receipt so that the court could see the most recent service. So this is your receipt. Yes. Yes. Consulting fee 150, refrigerator latch repair, $375 for a total of $525. So you repaired this refrigerator latch? Yes, we did. So why wasn't it working that day? I don't know why it wasn't working that day. It was um, not working correctly before it was repaired. And we depend on that refrigerator and we depend on our deliveries. And delivery and show up on time. Mr. Bates. Yes, Your Honor. You've asked this court to award you $25,000 for your past medicals and an additional $25,000 for future medicals. I want to understand your injuries. Now, you've clearly got some frostbite on your nose and ears, and uh, you damaged a couple of fingers and broke an ankle. Yes, Your Honor. I got uh, my fourth and fifth digits. I have nerve damage, so I can no longer use his hand properly. I have to have a skin graft to have my face fixed because of all this damage. All of this stuff is still coming, and it's taken out of my life savings. I had all this money saved up. Two years, I'm going to retire. That's all gone. It's like whiskey slipping through my fingers. Oh. She took all of that away from me because she didn't hold up her end of the bargain. She's a business owner. She has a responsibility to provide a safe working environment. Well, clearly this is big for you. I understand that. Yes, Your Honor. You're asking this court to give you $75,000 in an award for pain and suffering. I understand that. Ms. Miller, you see this has had a great impact on Mr. Bates, right? Yes, I do, Your Honor. And you still say this is not your fault. He, he's trapped in your cooler for five hours. Your Honor, there is an alarm in the cooler, in the refrigerator, it alerts us in the restaurant, the police, and the fire department if you pull it. Now... That's the alarm? Yes. And Mr. Bates has been in and out of that refrigerator hundreds of times. He knows every inch. And it's I do right not by... know every inch of your It's cooler. right by where you put the eggs. Why didn't you sound the alarm? I didn't know the alarm was there, Your Honor. I'm in hundreds of coolers a week. I go in, I drop my merchandise, I get out. I don't inspect in there. Moreover, the lights were out, I was dazed. How am I supposed to find the alarm and all of this stuff? My only goal was to get on my feet and get out of there. In order to understand the nature of your injuries, this court has consulted Dr. Seacrest Sutherland. She's an emergency room physician. Sheriff, will you get Dr. Sutherland? Yes, sir. Good day, Dr. Sutherland. Introduce yourself to the court. My name is Seacrest Sutherland. I'm an emergency medicine physician. I'm a medical doctor. Doctor, can you explain the various levels of frostbite? Yes, sir. Frostbite severity is determined by um, how deep the freeze penetrates. Superficial frostbite, such as in this photo, affects the skin and subcutaneous tissues. That skin will fall off, but underneath is um, granulation tissue that comes back in. And this person can reasonably recover, although pain and um, sensation issues will likely occur. Uh, and the next photo we have is a really severe case of frostbite. Here it's gotten the muscles, the ligaments and tendons, the nerves, blood vessels, and even the bone. This dead tissue auto-amputates, presuming it doesn't get infected. If it does get infected, a surgeon will have to cut it off with a scalpel. In this case, Mr. Bates has frostbite on his ears, on his nose, and it even damaged a couple of his fingers. What levels of frostbite are those? This is more than superficial frostbite, um, especially with the nerve damage of the fingers. Is he going to get full use of that hand back? Doubtful. What about his nose and his ears? Will they heal? The black tissue will fall off, and whatever tissue is underneath that is going to be the remainder of his nose and ears. Thank you, doctor. We appreciate you. You're released. Thank you, Your Honor. Ms. Miller, you see, this is a, uh, a big deal for Mr. Bates. Yes. This happened in your restaurant, in your cooler. Shouldn't this be your fault? No, Your Honor, because Mr. Bates was not supposed to be there. 
You didn't have your man in place. That's why I was there. I have a job to do, too. You're not the only one. We both have a business, lady. Talk to me. I'm sorry, Your Honor. She has a business she needed to take care of, and she failed. She can go on about her alarm, but I didn't know about the alarm. Mr. Bates, I see that you have brought a witness with you. Yes, Your Honor, I have. Sir, you are Lionel Gonzalez? Yes, I am, Your Honor. All right, if you would stand and come to the podium. What's your relationship to Mashed Egg? I am a former server at the Mashed Egg. And what do you have to tell me about the Mashed Egg today? Well, I had a similar incident happen to me at the Mashed Egg. I was in the kitchen, I was going back to put in an order, I had a plate in my hand, and I slipped on grease that had been left out on the floor. I fell back, I landed on my head, I landed on my back. I had a concussion, and I'm still wearing a neck brace that's affecting me personally. You've submitted to this court a video of your actual fall. I want you to cross over to the plasma screen and walk us through it. So tell me what we're looking at. You're gonna see me come through this way, right here. Heading to the sink to put that plate in there. <gasps> I stepped on that grease puddle, my foot went up in the air, I landed on my head, and I was in instant pain. So you can return to the podium. Some bad things happening there in the back, Ms. Miller. Your Honor, I don't know what this video has to do with Mr. Bates. It was unfortunate. Well, you've got good instincts. I mean, I'm glad that you submitted that video, but slipping outside in the kitchen doesn't really tell us whether you're responsible for what happens inside the cooler. But it does inform me that your place may have been chaotic at this time. Mr. Bates. Yes, Your Honor. What's going through your mind right now? I'm just wondering if she's going to keep her employees alive. No. Oh, my God. That's pretty harsh, isn't it? She was pretty harsh to me with what happened to me. She has absolutely no caring about me. All she cares about is her restaurant. She didn't care about the whole business. All she cares about is what she knows, cooking and cracking eggs. She doesn't understand what it takes to run an actual business. These are living machines. These are people and business working hand in hand. And if you have people who aren't there, who don't do their job, who don't show up, accidents happen. And her answer to everything, it's not my fault. That's not an adult answer, Your Honor. She wants to be a business but owner. It's she wants true. to play. Mr. Bates, yes, talk to me. I'm but sorry, you know, you got to keep in your mind that had you followed her systems, you probably wouldn't be hurt. Exactly. Your Honor, if I followed her system, I would never have made the delivery. Don't How care. can I follow a system that isn't there? Well, maybe soured eggs and soured milk is better than $50,000 in medical expenses. Yeah. Well, is is the right answer for me to neglect my job? Because my job was to deliver those items. And her responsibility was to have, if she wants to have a buddy system, then that buddy needs to be there. Like I said, I was in there for five hours. Where was this buddy for five hours? Folks, I think I've heard what I need to hear. I'm ready to render my decision. Folks, in every personal injury case, the plaintiff, you, Mr. Bates, you've got to prove three things. You've got to prove that Miss Miller and the mashed egg did something wrong, and that their wrong caused your injuries. Your injuries are undisputed. You've put up enough evidence to show that you already spent $25,000 on your medicals. You're going to need additional surgeries for that additional $25,000 that you're asking this court to award you. You've put up evidence that the door did not work when you tried to get out, that the lights went out and that you were left in this cooler for five hours suffering frostbite, terrible injuries, and breaking your ankle. Ms. Miller, you believe that this incident is his fault if he had only employed your safety systems. Yeah. Those safety systems are the buddy system, and if he had hit the alarm, he would not have been in there five hours. Exactly. So often in personal injury cases, there are all these moving parts, but many times, my determination is on one particular fact that tilts the scale as to whether this is your fault and whether you win or lose. That one fact is the door. When I first heard the evidence, I thought I was going to find for Miss Miller because you didn't hit the alarm, but when you smack your head and it's dark, your days, your ankle's broken, there's no way you could do that. Yes. The door would have solved this whole problem if it had been working, and that's something that you had total control of. 
Because of that, I find that you have proven that the mashed egg and Miss Miller are wrong and that their wrong caused all of your injuries. And because of that, I'm going to award you $25,000 for your past medical expenses, $25,000 for your future medical expenses, $25,000 for your lost wages, and $75,000 for your pain and suffering for a total award of $150,000. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you so much. Thank you. That is my final verdict, and this matter is adjourned. Our attorneys across America just viewed this case for the first time. Let's hear what Gary Martin Hayes has to say. Mr. Bates was on the defendant's premises to deliver food, so the restaurant owed him a duty to provide a safe environment and to warn him of potential dangers. Ms. Miller made the claim that their buddy system would have helped, but the restaurant failed to have a properly functioning door. And that is what kept Mr. Bates stuck in the cooler, which resulted in his injuries.